Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video today. I'm here with Demon Slayer, uh, the Hashia Training Arc episode number 5 reaction. So, the previous episode, it was Tanjiro's uh, turn to train with Muichiro. He went to Muichiro's place and realized how Muichiro is having communication difficulty with the people he was training with. You know, his, the people who he was training, they weren't really, like, they were training, but they felt like they're just being, like, you know, like, ruthlessly trained and they didn't wasn't able to even understand what Mujo was thinking so in the end Tanjiro kind of helps out to make both you know them and Mujiro communicate with each other properly they did a little paper um plane like you know throwing competition and all that and yeah in the end he completed his training over there and moved on and now it's I'm guessing Mitsuri's turn Mitsuri like uh, Tanjiro has gone to Mitsuri's place and I'm going I'm guessing he's going to be training with her now so let's see what happens in today's episode Episode number 5, let us get started. I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it whichever is your preference and let's begin. Right, here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Okay. Yeah? <laughs> oh boy. Uh, it'll be hilarious if the training is basically them eating. <laughs> Damn! That is a. L oh my god. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> right. Wait, is this really going to be the training? Them cooking? <laughs> what? <laughs> right. I wouldn't be surprised if that's what ha ends up happening. Oh boy. Wait. Oh, that was a. I thought that was an apron. I thought that would be cooking or something. Okay, it's gymna Okay, you know what? Yeah, flexibility. <laughs> right. Yeah, the crows. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> right. Okay. Oh my god. He's probably going to just yank it off. Yeah. All right. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Bruh. Oh, wait, that's it? I guess. Right. So it's overnight. 
I even ate demons. Hmm. Yeah. <coughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah Oh, this is a flashback. <laughs> the snake is also worth reading. Oh my god. Okay. I see. <laughs> I the music is like turning into Little music turn into something. Right. <laughs> mm. Um okay, let's see. What? What training is this? Have you swing your sword one? These are obstacles? Um What's this? Is torture chamber? <laughs> what? What did they do? Yeah. Right. Okay. Hmm. Um God damn Oh Yeah Right <laughs> Yeah this is a bit Oh boy <laughs> yeah, he has to like aim and then Ah, too slow. Yep. Oh, there'll be a competition. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Oh my god! Oh! Oh my- well... You didn't say that you were going to hit back. Damn. <laughs> yeah, oh god. This is like a, you know, like a like a hostage situation. You have to be precise. Whoa, what the hell? <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Oh my god! <laughs> you know what? The fact that they'll have to like protect Nezuko, I feel like this is going to be very helpful. Especially this type of a tra training.
Yeah, like now, now there's no people tied there, so it'll be easier for Tanjiro to attack. But we have to get accustomed so that even if there's people there tired, he can, you know, like confidently and precisely strike. So yeah. God damn. Well, yeah, day two. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, day three. Well, day four. Day four, yeah. Oh, my God. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. Oh, he, he dodged that. Ah, uh, but he did end up... Okay. Right. Oh. Okay. I thought they would... <laughs> I thought they would train... Yeah, train a little bit more. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, next Shinazugawa. And then there's that other guy. What was his name? Yeah, you're the one who's super. <laughs> oh! What in the. What? Who is he training with? What the? Yeah. Who is he training with? Oh my god. Okay, he is training with Shinazukawa. <laughs> yeah. God damn. Oh god. Hmm. Um Okay, whatever. Uh, like I said, whatever. Yeah, you literally and yeah. So there you go. Whatever. You <laughs> know. <laughs> well he's he's correct is he wrong in any way like yeah i understand you have your trauma with demon but nezuko was his sister you know you have to think about that as well so yeah nobody accepted each other fine <laughs> damn Mm. 
Okay, so it's just... Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, what can he do? What can Tanjiro do? Damn! Bruh! <laughs> oh my god, hey! Wait, is, is Genya here? I was gonna say? Yeah. There he is. Oh my god. Bro, you... Your blood pressure is just gonna... Calm down. <laughs> All these veins popping up. Uh. Yeah, I don't... Yeah! <laughs> right. Mm. Oh boy. I I like I get the feeling he's doing this because he doesn't want his brother to get involved in this, you know. You know, it's like a twisted way of Showing his concern? I don't know. Not a twisted way, but a roundabout way. A very... <clears throat> mm. Oh my god. Right. Oh god, this is going to be... Yeah, he is not going to be Oh! Oh my god. Bro. Oh my god. Right. Oh. Oh. Right. Okay, you know what? Maybe not. Maybe he... <laughs> yeah. Maybe he really doesn't like Genya. I was thinking maybe it's just... Uh, um, right. Bro, what's happening? What's this noise? Yeah? Oh, old guy? <laughs> oh god. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Right. Oh god, here we go. This is like a real fight now. Oh god! Ah! Damn! Oh. Wait, did he? Yeah, he grabbed his hand. Oh, nice! Okay, come on.
<laughs> oh god. Dodge! Whatever he's- Oh god! Yeah! Uh Yeah <laughs> Mm Bruh <laughs> Yeah. Damn. Well, straining as well. Suspended. Wow. Hmm. Well, they have to work on that themselves. You know. Now what? There's only one person left, I guess. Not two, I guess. He still hasn't trained with you. Yeah. Old. I don't think he's that old, is he? <laughs> okay, this is the that big guy's house. I again forgot his name. Um. Hmm. Okay. Oh, Inosuke is there. Okay. <laughs> oh, there he is. Even fire school. <laughs> I'm very curious what his power is because I feel like it's going to be something very interesting. Okay. Oh. Hmm. No, the... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Oh. 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 <laughs> Strongest, okay. Alright, there you go, that was today's episode. So today's episode had quite a few things, I wasn't expecting so many things to get, like, you know, like, for example, the first section was Mitsuri and that training, then we go to Obanai, then we go to Shinazugawa, and then finally to, you know, like, the, the other guy. I was expecting it to go, like, every single episode one person, you know, like that. 
and they suddenly like literally they completed every single one in one episode uh except one guy and i'm guessing later gyu training with gyu I, I guess we still haven't done that um so yeah i wasn't expecting that either way um a few things we got to see today uh, number one, the training with Misu was, you know, just flexibility training. Like, I kind of expected that, you know, so there you go. Um, then the next one, which was Obanai's training, it was him, like, precisely striking, like, a, like those, you know, chains, uh, making sure that you do not hit the other guys. And uh, like I said, it's, it's, it's a very important, I guess you could say, uh, training because since in the the next mission or whatever is to protect Nezuko I feel like it'll help you know Tanjiro to get accustomed to protecting someone and fighting along at the same time you know and like you know that's why precision like you know based strikes and stuff like that it was it was pretty like you know like a good thing that he learned so he was able to kind of make like put his own twist on the training basically how Tanjiro was able to overcome is it is that he he thought that okay you know I'm going to think that these are not people these are basically obstacles and he's already accustomed to fighting like you know demons in forests and stuff you know like dodging obstacles and stuff the thing that was messing with him was basically thinking or thinking too much about the people who are strapped to those poles you know like that was interfering with him so he completely emptied his mind he was like yeah those are obstacles and just like I, how I usually dodge the obstacles and fight against the demons, you know, I'm just going to do that. And he just does that and, you know, it works out, I guess. Obviously, I doubt he has completely perfected it. I'm pretty sure there's much more to learn. You know, he just kind of only scratched Oban, uh, Obanai's, like, um, howdy. But that's it. Uh, but I guess for now, it's okay. You know, so, you know, he has to go to other people to train as well. So that was that for, uh, for that train. Then comes Shinan Zugawa's training, and Shinan Zugawa's training was basically just beat, like, you know, try to beat him up while he beats you up. Basically that, you know, like a, like a free-for-all brawl type of thing. Um, and, uh, but a problem struck with Shinan Zugawa's training is basically the whole situation with Genya. Now, here's the thing. I genuinely, like, I don't know, like, I, I think in the previous season, I, got, I, I, was, I was like, okay, you know what, who knows, maybe, like, Shinan Zugawa... It seems like he hates his brother, but maybe he, like doesn't want him to get involved in these type of things. That's why, in a in a weird twisted way, he kind of you know tells him though that oh you're useless, you do not you know like you, you, you like drop out of the demon corpse, this and that. Um, you know, so I was like yeah maybe it's like in a, in a weird way he tries to like protect him or something in in this way. So that was what I was thinking. Uh, I genuinely don't know now in today's episode he literally was going to poke out his eyes after knowing that you know like he ate demons so basically like his obviously his we, it's pretty obvious we've we known this from the very beginning he hates demons and I'm going I'm guessing you could probably say that he his hate for demons is probably on the higher side compared to everyone else you know, like, he absolutely loses his mind so much that even if it's his own brother, he's just going to, yeah. So, I don't know, like I said, I'm still not really sure what's up with him and his, like, you know, like, the, the sibling relationship between these two. I'm still not really sure what's going on, uh, but maybe we'll get to know properly later on. Uh, there's a few things I've also kind of forgotten from the previous season, you know, so maybe that's also interfering in me properly trying to deduce how the relationship works. Because I feel like there's a few things I've probably forgotten from the previous season that would have made, maybe that would have made the situation clearer in my head if I remembered them. Either way, um, yeah, so, <clears throat> like, so basically that's what's, like, is going on. Like, he almost, like, okay, now this is also another thing, like I said, um, like, I was saying that, you know, like, maybe his hatred for demons is so much that even if it's his own brother, he's just going to, like, you know, hit him but maybe i don't know again like i said maybe he was just doing it to make him drop out or something like because he doesn't want him getting involved in this and you know eventually becoming a target of the demons he doesn't want a future like that that's why in this weird twisted way he's trying to make him drop out you know um and if that is the case then i would say that his hatred for demons is so much 
that he probably even if it means that like hitting like poking his brother's eye out he would do that to make him drop out and uh, you know like probably uh you know not get involved in the demon slayer calls like like i said i i'm not really sure like it seems that he hates his brother but i don't think it's going to be that simple like if he genuinely hates his brother then i i don't know what to say really but if this is like some weird twisted way of him trying to make his brother drop out so he doesn't get involved and like hurt himself uh then i would say i don't know i feel like it's a bit too <laughs> like aggressive <laughs> but yeah this is i don't know you know what let's wait and see i i'm sure we'll get a better understanding of the relationship in the future uh uh anyways so yeah that's that um and yeah like they go into a little squabble and uh, you know tanjiro gets banned completely from going and training with shinazugawa so yeah there you go and then in the end tanjiro comes across this guy um I, like i said i forgot his name but he uh, you know like uh, inosuke is training with him and he is like you know inside like just inside the the flames just you know like like this praying meditating and he's just so like you know i don't know like so concentrating or so accustomed to it that flames are not even affecting him so yeah let's see how this goes and yeah that was today's episode um so yeah that was that so let me talk about this episode scene by scene nothing much to discuss uh, only in the middle section there's a few things that i want to discuss but you know like the first part is obviously it's, it's just you know mystery like time like training tanjiro and mitsuri's like oh let's you know like let's eat first and she like makes pancakes and stuff and feeds tanjiro the pancakes <laughs> oh boy and tanjiro's like wow what is this i've never like you know like eaten something like this you know what's funny when after eating mitsuri's like oh like after you're done eating can you change to this they didn't really show it properly so i thought that was an apron so i was like oh maybe they're going to cook or something <laughs> I literally thought that. I thought that it's going to be like a cooking lesson or something. But no, it 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 was like a gymnastic like, you know, like a leotard or something like that, I guess. And uh, there you go. And I, I yeah, I, I pretty much expected this. So basically, um flexibility training. Um so yeah, like they like Mitsuri is like, "Oh, like so jump like this, jump like that, twist your body like this." And at first everyone's like oh this is so fun you know and then <laughs> then comes the the difficult part where Mr. is like hi right, stretching time so you know like every every at up until now everyone was having a great time they were like oh this is great you know compared to all the other like training and everything this is just easy peasy you know and then <laughs> the stretching like section comes in and Mr. is like oh let, let me help you out and she grabs and just stretches like this Oh god and then they realize like yeah this is this is hell as well just like all the other trainings. So yeah, there you go. Um there doesn't really show much about that after that because I guess it's just, there isn't really much to show because it's literally her teaching them to make their body flexible. So I guess in that sense it's not really that much of nothing much to see. So they come like they, they cut that part out after that, you know, we fast forward to Obana. So um Wait, his name is Obana, isn't it? Or am I making a mistake? Wait a minute, let me check. Let me check, just a minute. Oh yeah, Obana, I was correct. Okay. Um so yeah, uh, next is Obana. <laughs> okay, so here's here's the funny part. Um the crow came in and uh, or Misuri's crow came in and gave him a letter. Obviously, like you know, the previous one, the person who trains the Tanjiro previously did like like give a letter to the person who will be training him after this so mitsuri did the same i'm guessing and mitsuri probably wrote stuff like oh like you know we had a great time you know like i taught tanjiro like you know like like flexibility and stuff we ate food we you know like all that stuff <laughs> and over i pissed <laughs> so <laughs> from the very beginning when he like put his uh, eyes on tanjiro he he's like pissed off he's like you know he's like like how dare you <laughs> Right. And Tanjiro is just clueless. He's like, "What what's happening? And what why why is he so pissed?" Anyways, they go inside the training room or whatever that is, and there's a lot of people strapped on the poles. So basically, the training here is taking out those chains in the middle of the poles, 
but do not hit the people. Now, this training is, like I said, I think like it's, it was probably one of the more interesting trainings because here Tanjiro had to keep an eye on the people and uh, make sure that they don't get hurt. You know, like I said, it's, it basically reminded me of like a hostage training situation where someone is like, has like a hostage with them and you, you're supposed to not hit the hostage and hit the person behind them, that kind of thing. So I feel like this is going to be quite helpful, especially in the upcoming whatever battle is going to happen because our main goal is to protect Nezuko. So this will be helpful, I think. I don't know. Either way, it also makes Tanjiro like, you know, like, like the training is basically precision. You have to be precise in like striking and making sure not you don't like hit the other guys. So at first it was like messing with him, like for the first few days, because basically like he was going to hit and then immediately he realized like everyone is scared and that like you know like emotions of the other people scared for their life was transmitting to him and he was like getting shaky so you know uh and uh Obanai was like what are you, are, you do are you doing this is not it so for the first few days he keeps doing it at first you could see he tries to strike but then just stops and kind of hesitates and then strikes like slowly so uh, that's how it went for the first few days then Obanai is like, alright, you know what, I'm going to be standing behind the poles. You strike them, and if you're slow, or you know, you strike me, and I'll strike back. And that's what starts happening. You can see Obanai strikes precisely, very swiftly, and, and it's so precise that it probably seems his Bokto's like swirling like a snake or whatever. Um, so it, it continues like that for a while. Tanjiro gets hit every single day, you know, and he struggles to do you know like in this training um <clears throat> either way uh, after omanai leaves tanjiro basically starts like strikes at like those empty posts but you know empty posts is a different type of thing you know there's no people strapped onto it so it's easier for him to strike the empty posts because there's no danger of hitting someone else uh but you know like that's not how it's supposed to go but he trains like that and uh, at night when they go to the bath it stinks obviously you know like yeah uh, and this continues for a few more days like f i think four or five days this continues and then finally tanjiro's like all right you know what i have to do something so what should i do so basically tanjiro comes up with an idea he's like just think that i'm fighting in a forest a forest full of trees i fought in situations like that in those type of situations i dodge the obstacles and properly fight you know the difference between that and this is basically here people are strapped to the like you know like to the poles so i'm getting um like i'm getting um scared in case i hit them but while fighting in the forest it never happens i i properly smoothly dodge and fight and precisely but what's messing with me here is the people and their thoughts transmitting to me so it's like put make, make my head empty just think this is this is like 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 we're training in a forest and Tanjiro does that and starts doing it and this time it works out you know finally he was able to get a strike on Obanai not even get a strike properly but you know like he kind of tore his howdy a little bit either way that was it that was like the the condition of the training so basically you have to hit uh, Obanai or hit his howdy or whatever so since he was able to do that he passed so you know either way um he like says goodbye to Obanai and Obanai is like don't do get too friendly with Mitsuri now leave so yeah he leaves and later on he while going to Shinazugawa's place he comes across Zenitsu Zenitsu is traumatized Shinazugawa's like come do the training either die on my in my hands or do the training and yeah now here a little bit of a little bit of a uh, you know like a clash between Tanjiro and Shinazugawa Shinazugawa is like oh I haven't accepted you and Tanjiro's like, yeah, neither have I. You, you literally tried to attack my sister. Or you attacked my sister. You stabbed my sister. So yeah, you know. Now here's the thing. Um, I feel like both of them are well entitled to not accept each other. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty fine with that. Obviously, not everyone has to get along with each other, you know. Um, <laughs> yeah. And I think both of their actions are justified in their own way. Tanjiro hates him because, or not hate him, but he doesn't like him or haven't accepted him. Because Shinazugawa, obviously, even though his sister was a demon, he did, you know, it, it is still his sister. Nezuko still is his sister. So, since he stabbed her, he doesn't like him. And Shinazugawa doesn't like Tanjiro because Tanjiro brought in a demon, you know. And uh, from the looks of it, obviously, everyone has their own trauma and their own, like, 
like ill will against demons a lot of the demons have taken a lot from a lot of these people here especially the hashiras you know they went through a lot in their life i'm pretty sure shinazugawa's story is also something like that so i don't blame him for like not accepting the fact that a demon has come inside the in, in the the you know like in, in, inside the demon slayer's headquarters so i can accept his part of the like you know thing as well like yeah he didn't like that and he definitely has something in his past so he did he, he acted like that i can accept that i can also accept the fact that tanjiro didn't, doesn't like him because that's literally his sister so, you know that's why i'm saying like and i'm i think both of them are entitled to their opinion and both of them have the full right to hate each other and not accept each other that is fine not everyone has to get along uh, you know so yeah either way um they go and they start training and uh, you know Shinazugawa is basically just standing there and he's like, hit me. And that's basically the training. But Tanjiro cannot do anything, neither can. And, and especially he's hard on Tanjiro because obviously he's kind of, you know, <laughs> yeah, against Tanjiro. Either way, one night when Tanjiro is going, probably going to the bath, he overhears Genya and Shinazugawa's talking. At first, you know, like Genya is like, uh, Shinazugawa is like, don't talk to me, don't speak to me, like, leave, I don't want to talk to you. And that was basically how it was going. But then everything changes when Genya says, like, I tried my best, you know, like, um, I even ate demons so that, you know, like, I can stand far or too far with you guys. Which made him stop. And he's like, wait, what? What did you say? You ate demons? And yeah, he just goes and was going to almost gouge out his eyes. Tanjiro went and, like, you know, like, saved Genya from that. And then a whole squabble starts between them. You know, Tanjiro says, like, you know, what the hell is wrong with you? You know, like, the fact that he ate, even ate demons, and he was, you know, like, he had that resolve. And you literally said that you don't think of Genya as your brother or whatever, you know, and you don't accept him. So what gives you the right to dictate what he's supposed to do and what he's not supposed to do? You know, if he really doesn't, don't think much of him. You know, which is, yeah, I guess, you know, fair enough. You literally said that I don't care about you and you're nothing to me. So why are you, like, you know, like... Like, why this? Um, yeah. Uh, either way, Shinazuka was like, nah, man, I'm, I'm going to, if you, like, try to defend Shina, uh, Genya, I'm going to beat you up as well. And Tanjiro's like, yeah, let's do it then, you know, like, and Tanjiro tells Zensu to run with Genya, while Tanjiro starts fighting against Shinazuka. And you can see, like, up until now, all the training that Tanjiro has gone through with the other Hashiras, it actually worked out. You know, like, he was able to stop Shinazugawa's punch. You know, barely, but still, barely still progress. Um, and then, you know, this thing happens for a while. Obviously, Shinazuga is way stronger than him. He's literally a Hashi, you know. So, yeah. <clears throat> and here's the thing. This is one thing I also kind of, you know, like, I agree with Tanjiro. Tanjiro says, like, you know, like, you have no idea what happened over there. Genya is the reason why, one of the reasons why we were able to survive that whole thing. So, you know, you have no right to dictate what or he should do or what he shouldn't do. We wouldn't be here if he wasn't there with us, you know, which is 100% true. You know, like, yeah, like you weren't even there. Like, what can you, like, you know, like, this, it doesn't give you the right to say whatever the hell you want to, you know, because you weren't even there at that point of time. We had to do what we had to do. Genya went that far to you know, like, help us out, you know, so I'm thankful for him, to him for that, you know, uh, while you weren't even there, you have no right to speak about that, something like that, you know, along those lines, um, either way, they keep fighting over there, Tan <laughs> I love how Zenith is running, and he's like, damn, your brother's crazy, <laughs> Gaina, like, punches him, and he's like, don't say something bad about my brother, <laughs> either way, everyone stops them forcefully, and yeah, from the higher ups, like, Tanjiro gets banned from going anywhere near Shinazukawa and yeah there you go that that's that so you know as Tanjiro says the relationship the sibling relationship between these two Tanjiro wasn't able to help them but you know it's their problem to deal with I guess they will have to sort it out themselves all right and after that we are here in the final or I think like not the final but the this this place I, like I said, I've forgotten his name, but this guy, the big guy, and you can see Inosuke is there, and they're like training underneath the waterfall, and this guy comes in the end, and he's, he's just sitting there, uh, you know, and he's saying that if you extinguish your heart and mind, 
even fire is cool and he's literally sitting in the fire you know like yeah and he's like welcome to my training uh yeah and that's where it ended um so yeah let's wait and see how this goes i'm very interested in seeing what type of character he is and you know what power he has so you know let's see what happens that was today's episode that was episode number wait what episode was that five yeah episode number um five of demon said what excuse me demon said the hashia trading art so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out and that is it thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys uh next week with another episode of demon Slayer. until then goodbye and have a nice day